G'day Australia, I'm Coram E from Audiocom Mobile Electronics. Today we've got a LDV G10 and we're fitting a set of MTX upgraded component speakers to the front doors. Now we've already done this and this is just a quick highlight video to show you uh, what work we've done but we have a DIY pack together with the right spacers and adapters so that you can do this on your LDV at home. So this video is to show you a couple of the highlights and to let you know how it all gets done. It's pretty straightforward. These doors are easy to work on as doors go. And we've fitted two things here, the speaker upgrade themselves and we've done our Elite Speaker Install Kit. Check out our other videos, the Elite Speaker Install Kit. There's a link below and uh, it will explain in detail what's going on here, but I'll briefly outline it now so what we have is we've removed the door trim which in the ldv is pretty straightforward you've got a fastener up here from this direction a fastener there in the door handle a fastener up here these are all phillips head fasteners and one down the bottom here i hope i haven't forgotten any then the door trim simply clips off it pulls in an outward direction you can liberate the door trim you've got to unclip the uh, handle drive mechanism and you've got to unclip the window switch but then you can remove the door trim and put it away somewhere safe. We've got ours over here on the workbench up off the floor so it doesn't get damaged. Now, then you've got access to the original speaker, which is uh, a bit ordinary. The original speaker, here we go, here's one. Here's the original speaker. It's a very, very basic paper cone. It is not great. And we're gonna replace that with a good quality aftermarket speaker, in this case, the MTX TX2, which are a banger and a good matchup for the original head unit. So we've removed that speaker. There's just three screw fastener points that you see on the outside there. Those screws screw out, this speaker comes away. You unclip the connector here on the end and you can throw it in the bin or use it as a doorstop if you wanna reduce waste. Now then, you've got the opportunity to put in the new speaker spacer that we supply. We've actually covered this speaker spacer up. So after mounting it in those original screw holes, we've then fitted the Elite Speaker Install Kit, which is a, a bit of sound deadening material that you see here, which goes around the speaker and layers up against the speaker spacer, as well as a big layer behind the speaker on the outer door skin. Can't see it here because uh, this skin, this weather shield is kind of in the way. But uh, all of that heavy sound deadening material helps give this speaker a solid platform to project its sound from and will drastically improve your mid bass performance even at low levels from like head unit power. It will still drastically improve the performance of this speaker. So we've layered all that up here with the sound deadening material on this uh, inner door skin as well as the outer door skin behind it included also in the elite speaker install kit is a resonance tile which sits behind that speaker as well on the outer door skin that's also been fitted in these circumstances then the included wiring uh, that comes with the mtx speaker one end runs up here to where the tweeter will mount the other end we've taped that into position there comes down through the door. We've secured that behind there with a few scraps of the sound deadening material, stick over the cable to stop it from moving or getting in the way of the window mechanism. And then it connects to the back of the speaker. And then of course that runs through out here in a little part of the speaker spacer which has some cable relief already allocated. Uh, and then connects to the original connector, plugs straight in. Now I'll just make note here for you, the positive speaker connector in the LDV G10 is on the clip side of the factory speaker connector. The clip side is positive. The side that's further away from the clip is negative. Now this, here's a hot tip. This is the case for 90% of speaker connectors out there. If there's a positive, if, if there's a clip side, the positive is usually the one closest to the clip side. That might help you out one day. Then we've mounted all that, laid in the material, mounted the speaker in securely through all the screw points. Then you're ready to reassemble this door trim, get it back on and mount up the tweeter into this top little section. Now some of these LDVs will have a factory tweeter in there already, some will not. This vehicle did not have the factory tweeter at all. It just had the mid-base driver in the door. So we've, in the interest of 
There's a couple of ways of doing this, right? The ultimate way of doing this would be to make a complicated little bracket and screw this bad boy in and uh, mount it all up. Now, in the interest of what's available and uh, time available and in helping you guys out at home, you probably don't have all the bits laying around to make a fancy little bracket of ice and some scrap aluminium and some cutting tools and some drills and things like that. So, what you can do is use a piece of the scrap sound deadening material and layer that thoroughly in around the tweeter to secure it in. It's kind of like a good semi-adhesive mount there and it will I've done this hundreds and hundreds of times and never had it fail. As long as you push that material in firmly and solidly and clean the surface before you do so, that thing will stay put forever. And then it means you don't have to faff around making up a heavy duty uh, bracket, which we'd, we'd only do for a heavier tweeter. So if it was a bigger, heavier tweeter, this won't support the weight of a bigger, heavier tweeter, then we'd make a solid little metal bracket to fasten that in. But for this application, that is quite fine. Then you'll be able to plug that tweeter into the wiring that we've run up from the back of the new speaker and that will be a full and complete co-component speaker system in this door and it's going to sound pretty damn nice we uh, went to just a little bit of extra effort on this one as well to make things nice for the client we've already done the driver's side as well and i'll show you what we got going on there which is we just uh, salvaged the badge from the speaker grill that comes with the speaker and mounted that up on the door uh, with a little bit of adhesive just to give it a little bit more of a pro finish so that's the speaker upgrade for the front doors of an lgv g10 thank you for watching i hope this has helped you and uh, you can get this upgrade from audiocom.online there's a whole bunch of great upgrades there and uh, this the speaker elite speaker install kit is available there the mtx tx2 speaker upgrade kit and heaps of other great gear all available from audiocom.online. Thanks again for watching. We make sure you hit that subscribe button because we want to see you again here real soon.